I wanted to record this build. This is a static strike build. It's far from the best build possible. But this in particular is a league starter build. And I don't make a lot of these. And um, what you'll see here, and I'll talk about this build a lot more as we go. I'm running Maze of the Minotaur. That's kind of the so the standard for any build. If you're going to have a setup, it needs to be able to run Maze of the Minotaur. So it's a great way to see how you do on bosses and how you do on mob clear. Now, as I was literally just recording the video for footage, look what I found. A Starfall Crater. These are quite rare. A lot of you have probably found this already. Some of you may not have. This is only the second time that I've found one. This is the Black Knight fight from 3.25. The new fights from this game, Black Knight and the Pirate King in particular, most last epoch feeling fights I've ever seen in PoE. Uh, they really resemble last epoch fights, and you'll see why. Uh, just the mechanics and the circles that you can dodge. It kind of demonstrates the mechanics. Now you'll see, um, build seems weak right now, but of course this guy is uh, not the easiest. I mean, when I do get this build upgraded into what's likely to be Flicker Strike, I'm going to convert it to Flicker Strike. Uh, then of course it's going to be able to do way better. Way better. In fact, I want to kind of try a Fire Flicker Strike because nobody does that shit. It's always... I might do Chaos. I've never done that. I've done Lightning and I've done Cold. So I'm either going to do Chaos or Fire. Now, as you can see in the mechanics here, um, there's a sort of goddess-like beam that um, you can stand behind the craters and not get hit. Or you can just tank them if you're leeching enough. This build has a lot of leech. Uh, this build, again, it's a league start. It's cheap. That's what it's all about. This is a great league starter. See the mechanics here. Last Epoch style, you can just easily see what's going on and dodge the circles. So, just throwing this in because it's part of the raw footage. This is raw footage run of a single Minotaur map. Now, I've got pretty decent armor. I'm gonna go through at the very end the actual gym and gear setup. It's, as you can see, not great. Um, and I promise it does get better. You'll see on the Minotaur fight itself. Uh, this guy's just thick, and I just kind of wanted to include it because it was a rare encounter, and it does demo that this build can do endgame content. Can it do post-endgame content, such as 100% Delirious maps? Can it do... Um, Ubers, like Uber Uber Elder, Uber Maven. The answer, I would say, is a resounding no. But you can make this entire build in 20 Divine and under. Either make the gear or buy the gear. Nothing that expensive. I have w technically two expensive pieces on this build. It's a Slayer with 20% Culling Strike, but uh, generally uh, this build can be made for cheap and you don't have to have those two particular items that I happen to have. Now, that was actually the first time I beat the Black Knight. So I was just kind of figuring out if there was anything else to do in there, and I realized, yeah, just just the loot, and then you just walk out. Now, you can't die on that fight, by the way. You die once. Um, it's only one portal. It closes. So now let's continue on with our normal demo that we had planned. And uh, you'll see it looks and feels much stronger this way. Because I was fighting an endgame boss. I did skip the Trial Master. It's not really designed for Delirium. What I have on my Atlas is Blight and uh, Einhar and uh, Ritual is what I'm synergizing into. Now I made this build because uh, I typically start off with like Cyclone and then when I get to around red maps then I'll switch over when I'm doing melee builds. Not projectile, not spell builds. But when I'm doing those particular builds I'll usually just level with Cyclone. I even referenced it in one of my rap songs. Uh, level with Cyclone was, was a verse somewhere in there. Now, Flicker Strike is more fun, but um, what I'm showing is this is Static Strike. Lightning Strike is much more popular, but it depends on projectiles. This does not, and it sends these passive beams to just deal more damage passively. And uh, Static Strike was buffed big time in 3.25 because uh, it never had flat lightning damage added. That was taken out of Lightning Strike. Um, so they literally just made your base damage a percent much higher. And so it was pure, it was free real estate. And uh, you can see here, I'm literally decided for some reason to fight this pretty juiced up beast because of my Einhar Atlas, like while doing <laughs> the uh, Blight encounter. So I'm kind of doing both simultaneously here. Uh, because it was a lightning at the bottom, I decided to go ahead and opt for uh, cold and synergizing cold. But you can see it's a relatively functional setup, like in the old days this would have been a great build uh, in and of itself, but now with such... But now with such advanced content, like the Ubers, like the tier 17 map, 
like the uh, post endgame bosses, like, it, it's not the best build, but it, it's perfectly clean and, um, as a league starter, and basically, when you don't have a lot of money, when your league starts or when you uh, are just poor, you can just make this build. I really do believe in under 20 divine. I probably spent 20 to 22 divine, I would guess. Now one key thing is, uh, you'll notice down in the corner, I, I do self-cast Assassin's Mark. That does make you stronger, if you just remember to do that on rares and uniques, instead of Mark on Hit. Mark on Hit will do it automatically for you, but it nerfs the effect of it. So, I prefer to self-cast uh, if you really want to scale damage, especially now that totems are gone. I do not Warcry because I take advantage of Multi-Strike. Multi-Strike does not work with Warcries, I don't know if you knew that. You can't, uh, in other words, what's it called? Like, elevate. You can't uh, make it where on Intimidating Cry you get double damage. If you're using Multi-Strike, they won't let you combine that. It is not possible if you did not know that. You know, can do rituals, can do uh, obviously blights. And so, here we are. Let's run in, and after I do the boss fight, I'll show the gear. There was a red beast in here with the Minotaur, and so, whoopsie daisies, right? It was just too much. It was a yellow beast, a red beast, and the Minotaur. So, did get hit, but um, went back in, and uh, it looked like this. There we go. So obviously my point is it can do it can do much content in the game, not all content, but enough that you can get this build going as a league starter and then upgrade your build to something better, be it lightning strike, be it flicker strike, whatever. So now I'm just going to go through this. I made myself, I bought the fractured base and then I just use an essence slam to roll for decent other I happen to hit fire and then um, helmet rolled the eldritch implicits. Other claw I just bought or I made for like maybe one or two divine. Shoes are onslaught shoes with just wherever you can put life and your reses and armor. Good belt just for reses and stuff. Uh, not Stygian Vice. And then Rage on Hit I put here on my gauntlets, on my gloves. And so here's the tree. A very basic cheapo tree. I got another Rage on Hit there. That way you don't need Rage support. You don't have to worry about it. And all I have here is a Megalomaniac with Uncompromising and Basics of Pain. Here are the auras, Determination, Wrath, Precision, and then I have Automation with Steel Skin. Uh, I have the Assassin's Mark self-cast, as I said. I have Dash with Second Wind. Here's where I have Minion with just no, just supports that keep it alive more often. And right here is where we have Enlightened. This is what I was talking about. You don't need an Enlightened level 4. I just happened to hit it when I corrupted it. I vowed it and hit it. I also have an Awakened Ellie damage with attacks. It's not level 5 yet, so it does not have Ellie Reflect Immunity because I had bad luck on that one. I actually turned a 520 into a 4 on the Val. And I use uh, the other stuff, 4 to 5, Nightblade. Um, but the point is you can use also just regular Ellie damage with attacks in the meantime. And then Conductivity on my ring. Impact, Brutal Fervor. We do the double curse from our chest. And that's the gist of it. I'll put the POB below.